SNP MP gets friendly with a Holocaust denier. I'm sure you all know who this little turd is. It's Tommy Shepherd, who is the SNP MP for Edinburgh East. It's been revealed, somehow, that he met up with a guy called Peter Gregson. Who's Peter Gregson, you ask? He used to be a shop steward, a member of the Labour Party and a member of the GMB. Now, it turns out that Shepherd has met with this guy who said that the Holocaust was exaggerated. Peter Gregson actually claimed in the past that Israel was a racist endeavour that exaggerated the extent of the Nazi murders of Jews during World War II for its own political purposes. Now, to, I should say, for the benefit of the Labour Party, he was suspended from, Labour, from the Labour Party, and he also got suspended from the GMB union. Now, I didn't know this, but there's actually a campaign, which is actually led by this guy, Gregson, to twin Edinburgh with Gaza. Now, if the SNP keep doing what they're doing, of course, Edinburgh will soon look like Gaza. Rather than actually having to twin it with it, you could actually just say they are one and the same place. But Shepard actually appeared at the event alongside Gregson, which is absolutely incredible. How can you sit on a stage when you're supposed to be a publicly elected figure with someone who discredits the atrocities that took place during World War II? Sammy Stein is the president of Glasgow's Friends of Israel. And he said that I was quite interested in this because I actually know Tommy Shepard as I am a member of the SNP. Maybe he's not too bright after all. Tommy Shepard was actually part of a gig that Peter Gregson organised and I think it's terrible. It's just unacceptable that a nationalist MP like Tommy Shepard is prepared to share a platform with people as he did in Edinburgh. And it is shameful. How can you sit there with people who denied what happened to millions of others in horrible circumstances during World War II? Anybody that has any sort of affiliation or sort of, uh, any connection, shall I say, to the Holocaust should never ever look at the SNP or this cretin ever again. Of course, there are many, many people moved all over the world afterwards because they simply couldn't face going home after what happened. The ones who survived, of course. Millions upon millions of people have connections to those who died in various ways, not least of all the gas chambers, of course, in one of hundreds of camps. Anybody who has been to one of these camps, I have, I've been to Auschwitz, I've been twice actually, and if you see what happened at these places, you would not share a platform with idiots who simply try and belittle the memory of those horribly deceased people in terrible circumstances who are not here anymore, of course, to have their say.